Hi, how are you? I am wonderful. My name is Mandy and you're with Jimra today. We are going to use a single dumbbell. This workout is entirely standing and I'm using a 10, but feel free to grab whatever feels good for you and still a challenge. Let's get started with the warm up. First thing we're gonna do is step our feet nice and wide apart. Take a big breath in through our nose, reach up, look up and exhale the elbows down to the sides. Let's go again, why not, right? Repeat the good, big inhale in, exhale the arms wide. Turn your toes slightly out, let's go for a deep squat to get started. Inhale down and drive the elbows and arms back. Inhale, let's go slow, let's really feel into our bodies here, driving into the hips and squeezing the seat as we rise. Last one. There is some impact in today's workout. In fact, we're gonna get started with it right away with some jumping jacks. If you're not jumping, guess what? I'm gonna take care of you. You can absolutely bring it down to a half jack. I will make sure to give all the modifications needed throughout the workout, so just trust that if I haven't said it yet, it's coming. Keep on going with these jacks. We're gonna build into these jacks. So if you're doing a full jack with me, we're gonna do two jacks into fast feet. This is one two, what's fast feet? I'm just gonna go into a nice little footballer. I like this because it gets my heart rate up and it's not as impactful as say a jack. If for example, this is really troublesome on your feet, bring it down to a nice march, okay? So let's go for that combo. Two jacks, fast feet. How long for the fast feet? Come with me, right? Two jacks into the fast feet. The low impact version looks like this. One, two, Nice little march. Let's do it last time here, because we got to get into the lunges. So turn to the side, give me a nice deep front lunge and squeeze and switch. Front lunge, squeeze and switch, yeah? I'll show this to you head on so you can see it. Big lunge, squeeze. Big lunge, squeeze. We're gonna build into that. I think you're sensing my theme, right? <laughs> so let's clasp the hands. Give me a lunge on one leg, you're gonna twist over it. Come back through center, do it again, other side. If this gets a little confusing, whatever thigh you're lunging, you're gonna twist over that lunge. Again, there's no perfection, it's just progress. So just work to the best of your ability, team. We've got about two minutes and some change left on our warm up. Last lunge here, step your feet together, squeeze the legs and start to churn your arms. Churn your arms in one direction. So I'm going in a nice little circle here. I'm starting to feel my thighs. Reverse the churn. So we're gonna bring it all the way around. And just so you can see this at a little bit of an angle, my weights in my heels, my weights in my heels. Yeah, last churn. Beautiful, now from here, no weight here, I just want you to pretend. One arm out to the side, just give it a deep press. We will be doing overhead press today, so if you have any shoulder issues, instead of doing this overhead press, you would do a row, or you could do a biceps curl. I will show that to you when we get there. Switch the arms, so now I'm gonna set that arm out to the side and do a nice big press with my other arm. As I do that, I'm lacing my rib cage. My knees are soft, my feet are planted, and I can connect with the breath work again. In through the nose, whoo, out through the mouth. Because like I said, I'm using a 10, which isn't nothing to me. Last one here. And now I'd like for you to give me some cross steps. So we're gonna move into this beautiful cross step, and then we're gonna add a little row. Oh my gosh, coordination, kind of rude, but good, right? Brain, body, so good for us. In about 30 seconds, we're getting into the meat of the work. So we have one more little bit of warm up left, and then we're off to the races. Good, elbows drive back, shoulders are packed. Let's do last few seconds here. Find a lunged position. Oh my gosh, another lunge, root. I'm gonna bring the arms in front of me, fly up, double pulse back. Fly up, double pulse back. Last one on this side, switch your feet. So I'm gonna step my other foot back, lean slightly forward, little pulses, and reach. Little pulses, and reach. Two more. Oh my gosh, last one. Okay, first 45 seconds, 
set your dumbbell down outside this leg here. Give me a big lateral hop, lateral hop, pick up your dumbbell, rack it to your shoulder, rinse and repeat. Now here's the deal. Whatever side you're working in right now, in round two, you will do the other side. So if you're not jumping, here's the modification. I take a big step. I take a big step back to my positioning, grab that dumbbell racket and rinse repeat. Say I wanna go a little harder, check this out. Rack and jump. Let's go for four more seconds. Woo! No weight required. Find the lunge position. We did this in the warm up. I'm gonna give myself a static lunge, pulse, pulse and fly. Pulse, pulse and fly. Now I want you to remember the leg you're on because next up, we're gonna do a cardio move, strength and cardio today, right? And then we come back to this lunging with the other foot. Good, pull the navel in. You've got about 15 seconds. Whoa, this ground, it's good for me. I can feel that ankle mobility really firing off here. Spread your toes out. Excellent, no weight required. Your weight's still in that same spot. We drop it low, reach it up. So I'm doing a little hop, because I am fully caffeinated. I'll be honest with you, I'm ready. <laughs> But if you do not want to hop, feel free to keep those feet flat on the floor. Maybe add a little calf raise. This is cardio driven. So we're trying to get the heart rate up. <sighs> Push the air out. Like you're blowing a candle out like eight feet in front of you. <sighs> I'm having fun already. It's great. I love it. Now we're going to go back to the lunge, but it's the other foot, okay? Beautiful, no weight, other foot forward. Lunge, pulse, lift off. Take a little pause, take a little pause. It's like you're in dirty dancing and you're taking off into the water or out of the water rather, lift. Maybe a little added toe point if you're really a feeling your graceful dancer self, drop in. I don't know if it's clear, but not a dancer, not a dancer. Freestyle, yes. <sighs> Choreography, forget it. Good. There are two pulses and we take our flight. I'm leaning forward, I'm looking forward. You've got one more and that's your time. We go back to the top. So in this short interim, take your dumbbell, move it to the other side. We're gonna start here. Lateral hops. Rack and rise, let's do this. Whew. Remember the modification. Whew. Can be big step, big step. Pick it up, rack it. It's harder to pick it up. You have to think about it, right? Could be a leap. That's a little less impactful than the hopping I did on side one. So just showing you different ways to execute this movement. We will not see this again. I know, boo-hoo, right? <laughs> Mandy, I really wanna do it again. <sighs> well, you can watch the video again, share it with your friends. Wink, 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 wink. All right, we're back to our lunges. Know where your dumbbell is. Back to this foot. Pulse, pulse, take your flight. Maybe add a little extra balance work. If you've ever taken my workouts here on Jimra, you know I'm kind of a balance babe. I like a balance work because I feel like it's a great challenge for everybody. And it's super functional with what we've got going on in our daily lives. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling that thigh of that front leg. Remember this front leg, that's my left. Okay, cardio squat, drop it low, lift it up. Can you stay consistent with me? So maybe you're not doing my variation, maybe you're here. That's great, my hips are still dropping, 
My arms are still reaching at a beautiful semicircle. And for those of you that have any shoulder stuff, make the arms smaller, make them here. But we wanna stay cardio driven. <sighs> yeah. So consistency, I'm back to my, my variation, right? No hopping, heels are trying to lift off the floor. Next up, right leg will be forward for the lunge. So I take that right foot, plant it, really solidify it here. Find your static lunge, pick a focal point. It's very helpful. Pulse, pulse, take your flight. Pulse, pulse, it's my concentration face. Take your flight, pulse, pulse, lift off. Last time with this. So versus the first set, how does this side feel? I know for me, this side's tougher. It just is, I'm owning it, but I'm giving myself the latitude to really find more range, more lift, more balance, spreading the feet out. Last few seconds, and that's the time. Okay, so here's what I need from you. If you need a sip of water, you're gonna grab it, take your weight, place it off to the side. We don't need it quite yet. So do a body scan. I know for my, my feet are like, ah, they're very, they're very alive. The feet are alive. So in this next set of work, we start body weight, then we're gonna pick up that dumbbell. It's upper body strength. I don't know if you noticed, but that last little block of work was a lot of low body. So we're gonna mix it up and give that upper body a try. Okay, coming with me here in about five seconds. Deep breath in. Push the air out, blow that candle out, and we're starting. So we're gonna do four cross hops. One, two, three, four. And you're gonna fast feet all the way around the world. One, two, three, four. Guess what, you fast feet around in the opposite direction. It ain't rocket science, baby. So if you are looking for the low impact variety, remember that cross step we did? Four of those, and take your walk around the world. Hair flip optional, one, two, this is the cardio part. Take your walk. Back to that high impact if you're looking for it. My arms are just braced to my sides, and take it around the world. Don't get dizzy. That's the end, grab your dumbbell. I'm gonna place my dumbbell in the right hand. My left arm is gonna brace right here in front of my shoulder, soften the knees. This is your strength element. I'm less concerned with how many we're getting done. Neck relaxed, facial muscles relaxed, laser focused on this shoulder work. Now, if you forgot the modification for overhead press, option one, I could do a biceps curl. Option two, I could do an upright row. Your call, I'm gonna stick with my overhead press. It's what I prescribed. Got about four more seconds here. Just breathe. Beautiful, we're back to our cardio here. Set your dumbbell down in the corner so you know where it's located. We got a front lunge and a twist. Take your hands in a clasp position. I'm gonna turn to an angle so you can see it. I'm gonna lunge and twist. Lunge and twist. Woo. Lunge and twist. Don't let those wood chips eat your feet, you know what I mean? Boom. So I'm looking to keep my hands clasped. Why? When I clasp my hands, this gives me the opportunity to stretch the middle of the back. I feel this kind of stretching sensation through my shoulder blades to spine. In the next round, we add our load. We add our dumbbell. <sighs> Gorgeous. Okay, pick up your dumbbell, by the way. Now I've got my right hand braced closely to me. My left arm does my press. Right? I'm going at about 2-2 tempo. You could go slower. So say for example, Manny, all I have at home are twos. Twos aren't bad. You would slow this down, spend a little more time under that tension. Notice if you're leaning or rocking. Notice if you're clenching. Relax. Gorgeous. Are you still having fun? I know I am. The weight's starting to feel heavy on the left for me. I'll be totally honest with you. This is your time. 
Beautiful. Set your dumbbell down for a moment. Shake it out. We're gonna go right around again, okay? There's not a lot of break time. I know, I'm sorry, but I'm also not sorry. Four cross hops, we go around the world in that fast feet. Let's hit it in two and one. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. Move it around the world. Boom. If you're extra fancy, can you remember which leg you led on on the cross? Left, right, left, right. Go back around. And then now I try to do right. Right, okay, left. And that might just be a little too much today, right? So listen to what your body needs. Whew. Arms doing anything. Give them a chance to just rest. Try to remember to alternate the fast feet. I'm not perfect. I don't pretend to be. I'm a human just like you. <laughs> that is your time. Pick up your dumbbell. Last time we ended on the left, so we're starting on the left. Right arm up. So that left arm doesn't get much of a break. It's right on in, yeah? Oh my gosh. So we're gonna keep the dumbbell. We're not gonna set it down because we're gonna do our front lunge with that twist. That's what's gonna make this effort harder. We don't get a little break between holding our dumbbell. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, now the weight's getting heavy. So for example, I could use that right hand to assist if need be. Give me one more, power it up. Keep your weight, grasp it with both hands. I'm just turning at an angle so you can see my legs here. I take my lunge. This is the cardio element. So it's not necessarily like speed racer fast, but I sure do feel my heart rate. Mandy, what could I do to make it harder? Move quicker, get deeper. <laughs> Move quicker and get deeper. Pretty standard operating procedures here. <sighs> breathe. When in doubt, just breathe it out here. Oh my gosh. My left arm is like, really? We're still holding this dumbbell? Is it almost over? Yes. In fact, it is. So right hand has the dumbbell, left arm does a biceps curl. No weight. Now I could, I could hold a weight, but what's today's prescription? Single dumbbell workout. So I'm holding true to what I said we were up to. You know, I'll say, when somebody tells me, okay, this is what we're doing, and then they're like, surprise. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that. Because I have this energy clock in my brain that has a kind of a ticker that tells me, oh, yeah, this should be the time. Speaking of, give me one more press. And we set the dumbbell down. Now's a great opportunity to grab a quick sip and check in on your body, because guess what? We have one more block of work to do. We have finished two, another set of four. We still have our dumbbell. This one requires a little bit more flexibility. So take care of yourself in this instance. We are touching our toes into jacks. So we did jacks in the warm up, and now we're pumping them into the workout, right? It would be weird if we didn't do them in the actual workout. We did them in the warm up. Wouldn't you agree? Deep breath in. Let it out. Okay, I'm gonna preview for this for you. So it's gonna be four standing toe touches. One, two, three, four, into jacks. Come with me now, here we go. One, two, three, four, plant the feet wide. One, whoo, two, three, four. I even practiced this before I got on camera. Two, three, four. Mandy, what's the modification? Half jacks times four. So we've got a low impact and a an, uh, high impact. Four jacks. <sighs> Plant the feet wide. Pivot, not pivot. Turn, turn. Feel that hamstring stretch. We're finishing here. Four jacks. And now we're gonna pick that dumbbell up. So take your dumbbell into your hands and push it really close to your chest. Feet are together here. I'm gonna lift off of my heels, squeeze my legs, sink low. 
So I'm gonna show this to you in a moment and rise up. We are not on the heels. From the side looks like this. I'm on the toes of my feet. I'm gonna drop in. This is as slow as you can humanly make it and rise up. Now I'm gonna release the weight towards my hips and pull it back in. Drive in. So the challenge isn't necessarily how much weight this is. Rather, the challenge is more the balance and the speed. So that is your last one. And now I want you to find a real chair, chair pose here. This time heels on the floor, turn the dumbbell, hold it. We're gonna churn it around and the other direction, just like the warm up. Big fan of prepping the body for what's to come, what we're actually up to. Can you sink your hips just a little lower and rest your neck? Notice if you're really pulling to look at the screen. A little trick, turn yourself to the side so you can look at your screen from the side. Super helpful. Finish line here in four. All good. And time. Okay, so we're gonna set that dumbbell off to the side. And our last challenge is going to be this low impact front step. One, two, with the row. Four, keep going. I don't know why I'm counting them. I think I was just excited. <laughs> Whew. Strength and cardio intervals. Drive your elbows back. This is obviously the cardio element. What if I wanted to make it higher impact? I make it a hop. So my arms move quicker, my feet move quicker. Oh my gosh. Starting at the top here in about five more seconds, we'll get a little reset. Two, one. Okay, around again. Quickly just stand in your power. Check in on the body, check in on the breath. Four jacks, four toe touches starts in two and one. I'm gonna start my toe touches this time. Hinge, switch, oh my hamstrings. <laughs> I'll tell you what. One, two, three, four. Plant the feet wide for this one. Reach, squeeze your seat at the top. So we've got one high impact, one no impact. I love a combo. Drive it out. Integrity over speed. So if you're going, I don't think I'm doing this really well, slow it down, slow it down. Inhale, exhale. We have our feet elevated here next. Grab your dumbbell, bows in the hand, hands. Our heels are lifted. We're off those heels, squeeze the legs together. Sink as low as you can. Rise up, release the weight to the hips. Find that calf raise, drop in. I'm picking a focal point that is not moving. It's this beautiful agave plant in front of me. Heels up, heels up, find those little kitten heels. <laughs> Woo wee, chair pose to churn here in about Five more. Ooh. Back stays flat, drop those hips. Last one. And now we do find that chair pose and I think it's really beneficial to see me forward here. So I'm changing the grip. Feet together, knees together. Circle it around and go in the other direction. Five pounds per arm for me. Five pounds per arm. So some of the single dumbbell stuff today, obviously, is single-sided and then some of it's bilateral where I'm holding both hands on the dumbbell so I'm splitting that weight up between the sides of my body sink it a little lower shoulders packed notice if you're doing one of these right if you're hungry eat after we're done good three last bit of cardio set your dumbbell off to the side four cross steps I keep saying four cross steps if there's it's just continuous cross steps my palms face down here. My fingers are spread out wide. This is low impact for now, but what could I do to make it higher? Right, I hop. Whew. The goal here in this is to drive the elbows back without letting the shoulders eat the ears. So if you find yourself with that high impact variety going, oh man, I think I'm losing the integrity of the move. 
come back down to something your body can maintain in good form and alignment with breath aerobic for the rest of the duration, which is literally seconds away. And you, my friend, have done the work. So now we stay standing. Great time to sip the water, great time to do a body scan. So I do want you to stand real quick with your feet nice and wide apart. Close your eyes. Feel your heart beating in your chest. Just let that heart rate come down with some deep breaths with me, okay? So keep your eyes closed. Close your lips. Breathe in through the nose. And then open the mouth, let it out. Two more. Think about those lungs expanding wide and back. Last one. And we're gonna go into that stretch. So take the heel of one foot, dig it into the ground, shift your butt back and reach for the toes. And say for example, that's not happening today, try to put your hand not on the knee joint, but maybe on the thigh, or you could even grab the back of the leg, the calf. Then from this position, wrap your arm around, take it across. Good. Now from here, I'm gonna rise up and I'm gonna switch those legs. You'll get to see that cross in the other direction too, so that's gonna be great. So I'm gonna sink my hips back, hinging at the waist, curling the toes. Maybe I grab for the toes with my fingertips, or maybe I just brace my legs somewhere along, not the joint of the knee, maybe the calf or the thigh. And then I reach across and open twist. If you need a wall, use a wall. Good, slowly rise up. Clasp the hands behind the back, open the chest cavity and drop the chin down. So we're depressing the shoulders from the ears and we're stretching the cervical spine. Walk the ear over to one shoulder and we're creating a lot of length here through the side of the neck. Breathe into it. And then we're going over to the other side pretty immediately here. And if I'm moving too quickly through this cool down, feel free to slow it down for yourself. Good, return through the center. Keep the clasp of the hands. Start to tip the hips forward, bend the knees a lot. So be liberal in that knee bend so that the hamstrings don't have to take the brunt of the activity fully. Keep the clasp of the hands, nod the head all the way to one side and all the way to the other. And perhaps I have, instead of a clasp of the hands, I'm holding a towel. That might be helpful for those of us that can't quite get that range of motion. Then I'm gonna place my hands on the floor or on my feet, and I'm gonna roll my way up to stand slowly. Once I'm standing up slow, I'm gonna take it over into a deep side bend over to one side. Big sideline stretch. Ring out one wrist. Even though we weren't on the hands, it's just nice to mobilize wrists and feet. In fact, the feet are next after the wrists and the side bends. Come back through the center and go directly to the other side. Big lean. So notice if you're rotating, right? So if you see in front of you, your tricep, you could always take your hand to your shoulder and keep it back. So I do want to ring out this wrist to be even in the body. And then I'm going to rise my way back up. Take a look at your feet. So maybe you're not wearing shoes and that's actually a little better. You're going to lift off the heels, really spread into the toes, lift off the toes and really spread the toes out. So flare the toes, lift off the toes and lift off, excuse me, lift onto the toes. So we're just rocking our feet front to back. Not for long. Spread your feet out a little wider. Draw into the inner seam of the feet. If you're wearing shoes, you may want to take them off. I'm going to invert and evert my feet. So if you can see this in the, in the camera, I'm pressing to the inner part of my feet and then the outer part of my feet. And as I do that, I'm actually flaring my toes. So I feel this ankle work and then we'll go around in a circle and back. We don't have much time left, but we will get into one deep squat. So go ahead and spread your feet out a little wider, turn the toes slightly out, drop into that deep squat, and we're just gonna draw the arms in and open the chest out. Nice. Last bit of stretch here, I have some bugs just eating my face. <laughs> it's cool, I'll share. Now I'm gonna take the arms up and rise my way to stand. Just like we started, take a deep breath in, look up, reach up and then slide those hands right in front of the heart because we are complete. We have done the work. Excellent job. Thank you for joining me on Jimra. My name is Mandy. 
find me on Jimra and find me on the socials. Have such a wonderful day. Let us know what you think of the workout and I'll see you very soon.